So let's practice Excel 2013 text the columns. What happened to me one time was I was given a list of hundreds and hundreds of different people who are, I was to actually honor with the certificates. Now when I was given the list of names, it was given to me all in one column because the person who passed it, emailed it to me, did not know how to use Excel. No worries. We can break these names up because what I wanted to do is to break these names up into different columns so that I can pull the names into uh, Word or Publisher using a mail merge, which would make things a lot more faster and automated. So how do we break these names up if you uh, get something all jumbled in like this? We can find this feature called Text to Columns. We click on the Data tab, click on Text to Columns. We need to select our data first. So let's select our data, Text to Columns, and right now we have the first uh, choice, which is delimited characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. Yes, indeed, we have a comma separating the first name and last name, so click on Next. And what is that symbol that's separating the, the words? It's a comma, so we choose comma. And right away, in terms of the preview, we see that we have successfully separated the first and last names. So we're ready to finish. Click on Finish. So you, we see that uh, we have successfully separated the first and last name and now the rest is easy. I can right click on row 1, I can insert a row, I can call this last name or last, I can call this first and if I were to do a mail merge I can just choose either the first name or last name fields and when it comes to actually making a real certificate I would say congratulations to first name then last name for excellence in yada yada. Alright, so hopefully you can now separate information depending on a certain delimiter symbol by going to that wonderful data tab. Look for that text to columns button. Superb.